you'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you laughed. About three days ago, I had 18 people on my trip that did not know how to swim. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Also, we got first aid, oxygen, all that stuff on board. But we're not using any of that, right? Right. <laughs> right. Right. All right. <laughs> cool. Well, that does it for the boat, guys. Does anybody have any questions? Anything you want to know about the island? Anything at all? Yeah, where does the Bermuda Triangle technically... What's that? I said, where does the Bermuda Triangle technically start? Where does the triangle start? Yeah, where does it technically start? Where does the Bermuda Triangle technically start? All right, now, Bermuda. Yeah. <laughs> all right, actually, that island onto this side of the boat, that island sticking out there. Yeah. All right, that's actually the northern tip of the triangle. All right, it's called the Devil's Head Island. It goes from there over to Miami, Florida, and it's over to San Juan, Puerto Rico. So it's actually well over a million square miles of open ocean. All right, so it's not just some small body of water here in Bermuda. All right, any other questions? How deep is the water where we're going to be swimming? Uh, it's going to be between about 15 and 25 feet for the most part. All right, there's nowhere out here that you guys are going to be able to stand. All right. Yeah. I'll tell you all about the wrecks and stuff like that when we get a little closer. That way it's fresh in your mind when you're jumping in board. Because I tell you about them now, you're all going to ask me again when we get there. Okay? I already say the same thing about 10 times a day, so... <laughs> yeah, the rest of it's like a tube. Are there... Are there um, any... Yeah. Do we get paid to do this? <laughs> Surely not doing it for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I didn't trade with you. Um, and did I see a question over here? Somebody had a question? No? Alright, any other questions, guys? Alright, if nobody has any questions, I'm just going to start talking about sharks. Oh, uh, yeah, it is Shark Week, too. Coincidence. Yeah, they're all going to be on Shark Week next year. <laughs> All right, well, who's scared of sharks? All right, well, you guys are in first. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. If you get into the water today and you see a shark, that's a good thing, right? No, you think not, right? The thing about sharks, they're hunters, right? So if that shark is going to attack you, you're not going to see that shark, right? So you see, it's a good thing. It's the shark that you can't see. with the sharks in Bermuda, all right? You got to know this is the Atlantic Ocean, right? Okay, and you know the sharks swim in the Atlantic Ocean, right? Hey, you guys are gonna go swimming in the Atlantic Ocean and you don't wanna see a shark. Yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> right? The deal with the sharks in Bermuda, guys, is that we're lucky because we don't have any of the small reef sharks, right? All the sharks we get around Bermuda are the big ones. Like? Tigers, hammerheads, mangoes, thrashers, six gills, blue sharks, great whites, yeah, you know, all that fun stuff. Yeah. I know it doesn't sound like we're lucky, but the reason we're, Jason, it's okay, you don't have to get in the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it doesn't sound like we're lucky, guys, but the reason we are lucky is because all these sharks that I'm talking about, they're what we call a pelagic species of shark, right? These sharks all live in the open ocean. Bermuda's surrounded by almost 200 miles of coral reef, right? This reef acts not only as a physical barrier, but more of an ecological barrier, all right? All these sharks I'm talking about, they feed on fish like tuna, wahoo, marlin, dolphin, all the pelagic species of fish. These fish don't come inside of the reef line, so neither do the sharks, right? I can take you about nine miles out that way and put you in knee deep water right on top of the coral reef, all right? Very shallow reef system. These sharks don't come inside of the reef to feed, all right? I mean, I can't guarantee you that you're not gonna see a shark, all right? I'm gonna never be my whole life I'm on the water every day. I've only ever seen two sharks inside of the reef line ever. I think we're just little juvenile sharks. Right. We do get some sightings of larger sharks from time to time, but they're only up and up inside of the reef system after like a, a bad storm or a hurricane or something like that. That sometimes they get a little disoriented from up inside the reef line. But uh, they're not inside the feed. Sometimes also if they're feeling a little sick when they're about to die, they'll come up inside the reef line so they don't have to worry about any predators. But you guys really don't need to worry about sharks today. It's like a 99.9% <laughs> Alright, do we 
favor that if you do see a shark, don't yell shark. If you think a shark attacks all the time, watch 40 people climb up on the back of the boat at the same time. <laughs> the back is up there, right? kicking and scratching and white. Alright, yeah. So, like I said, you're not likely to see them today, though, guys. We only ever had one recorded shark attack in Bermuda. Alright, it was back in the 60s by a nurse shark, right? Nurse sharks are said to be the most docile shark in the ocean. Apparently, you can pat them like a dog, but you just can't ride them like a horse. I tried to mount the shark, the shark turned around and did it. Alright, don't blame the shark. Alright, yeah, so we'll thumb out here, guys. I'll try and mount anything. Yeah, alright. This doesn't include all the snorkelers. Chance to turn around and attack. Anything else you guys might be scared about here? Yeah. You're all good with like barracudas and jellyfish and stuff like that. Is there anything poisonous in the water? Anything poisonous in the water? Um. Yeah, we do have a fish here. Um, it's, it's not a, it's not an endemic fish. It's an invasive species. But we do have the lionfish here. Are right, you guys all know the lionfish? That big brown one. That was big. All right, it's only started moving into Bermuda in the last like five or six years. All right, so traditionally a South Pacific fish, but very invasive here. So they are starting to take over. All right, um, they usually hang out down near the bottom. All right, usually near the mouth of caves and stuff like that. Very beautiful fish. If you guys see this fish today. Go anywhere near it. All right, it's got big spines on the top of it to deliver a very serious toxin. If you get stung by this guy, you're going to be going to the hospital. Believe me, it happened to me about a year ago. It's very, very painful. All right, well, again, come back to the boat or yell out the boat. Let us know so we can jump in the water and kill it. No, we don't want to. Actually, they're very, very dangerous to the reef system because they're not endemic here. They've actually, there's no predators here that feed on them and they feed mostly on juvenile fish. They did an experiment with one at the aquarium. They caught one, put it in a tank. The thing actually ate itself to death. All right, they don't have their reflex where they stop eating. So they're saying one lionfish within five weeks can exhaust up to 80% of the juvenile fish on one reef. One lionfish within five weeks. So they're very, very um, harmless. We're doing everything we can here to try and get rid of them, but they're actually very difficult to catch. Sometimes they'll sit there and they'll chomp their jaws at you. All right, that's not them trying to intimidate you or anything like that. That's just them trying to pass colder water over their gills, trying to keep cool. All right, so that's not them trying to intimidate you. You see a barracuda, you don't want it hanging out, swim right towards it, make as much noise as possible. It's going to take off, and then two minutes later, when you look behind you, he's going to be sitting right there again. All right, so just make friends with him, he's not coming anywhere. All right, but he's not going to hurt you. All right. Um, jellyfish, I will warn you about jellyfish guys because we do have a few in the area right now. First one, there's a lot of them out here the last couple of days and this morning. It's called the moon jellyfish. Alright, range anywhere from like the size of a quarter up to like the size of a dinner plate. Alright, it's a circular jellyfish, got a purple flower shape in the middle of it. Alright, um, it's not so much of a sting as it is more like an itch or an irritation. If you have sensitive skin, can irritate you quite a bit, sting a little. It's not anything seriously dangerous, but I do recommend that you guys avoid them. All right, think about them. Their tentacles don't extend past their body, so you do actually have to swim right into them. All right, they move about this fast. <laughs> yeah. If you can't avoid that today, it might be best to just stay with them. Remember, there are quite a few of them out here, so I will warn you guys. All right. Now, the other one that we get right around now is the thimble or the cone jellyfish. It's about this big.
Now, they're pretty cool to check out. You get right up to the other little iridescent lights that light up all around the outside of them and stuff like that. They are harmless. They actually feed on little phytoplankton. They're 98% water, 2% minerals and protein. Their stinging cells are not strong enough to harm a human, so you really don't need to worry about them. Third one we get around Bermuda, but I haven't seen one for a month or two. All right, it's past season four. It's a Portuguese man of war. All right. Not likely that you're going to see one today, but sometimes there are a few stragglers that behind what happens. They come past in the spring, right, heading north looking for the colder water, right? It looks like a bubble floats on the surface. It's pink and purple and blue. It's actually a very beautiful creature. Got blue tentacles that hang off underneath it. You see this today, see? Well away from it. All right, this guy hurts a lot. It's actually the sixth deadliest animal in the ocean. All right, it's also one of the longest creatures in the world. It extends its tentacles up to about 160 feet in length, depending on the depth of water that they're in. We're not going to be snorkeling around in 160 feet of water today, so they're not going to have all those tentacles out, right? But very dangerous, right? If you do get stung, you know how you treat it? Pee on it? Yeah, you pee on it. All right. You guys are giving me some disgusting looks, but I promise if you got stung by the man of war today, you're going to be running around this boat making people pee on you. Right. It hurts a lot. Just joking, guys, we have vinegar on board. It's the next best thing. She won't be peeing on anybody, right? Unless you want it. That's up to you. We have vinegar on board, guys, so we'll use that. Alright. Um, but other than that, what's that? <laughs> yeah, that does it. Alright, any questions before I go on? Other than that, guys, there's really nothing else you need to worry about out here except for the actual coral reef itself, all right? All the coral here in Bermuda, it will cut you, sting you, or burn you in one way or another, all right? I'm not going to tell you guys which ones do which, and that's because I don't want you touching any of them, all right? The reason I don't want you touching any of them is because they're all protected, all right? It is against the law here in Bermuda to touch, take, or break any of the coral. If you get caught removing coral from Bermuda's waters, living or dead, and if it's a dead piece of coral, you can receive up to a $10,000 fine, all right? And if we catch you doing it today, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure you get all $10,000 off that fine, all right? The reason we're so strict on protecting our reef system here is because Bermuda does actually enjoy the world's healthiest coral reef system to date, all right? In the last 200 years, Bermuda's only lost about 11% of its coral, all right? This is very good compared to most other places around the world. If you're looking at some of the other Caribbean islands, we're up about like 80 of their coral reef that's died off in the last couple of decades. All right. Now, real quick, guys, Sydney's going to come around with mass historicals. All right. Hand you out some. Don't panic if you don't get one right away. She's got a couple different sizes. She's going to give you the one that fits your face the best. All right. So just hang tight. She'll be coming right back around for, to give you one that fits you. All right. Now, like I said, guys, the healthiest reef system in the world. Now, what you're going to do.